Hi, I'm Jody Duncan, AIFD, and I'm coming to you from Vegas. It's a great destination for weddings, one of the top destinations in our country. So today we're going to take a look at several of the different wedding venues that you can get married at. We have connected with this really wacky bride who wants to get married at the Kiss Chapel. So it's exactly what you think. It's the whole rock and roll Gene Simmons kiss thing that's happening. So how do you interpret a bouquet for that? We talked to her, checked out the location, and I've come up with a few things that I think you're really gonna dig that you can take back and try for your everyday bride. So what we've done is we started with a grande bouquet holder. And if you can believe it, we're gonna turn it into this. So the way we're gonna do that is with a few U-glue strips. And we're gonna just peel those right off and adhere those to the handle. That is going to be the mechanic that makes our little bear grass stick right to it. So by running the length of the handle, we can stick it on there. And I'm just gonna leave the tip for myself to be able to hold on to it so I don't get all stuck to it like a glue trap. So now that that's all on there, we take our bear grass and we're gonna cut off the white. We really don't need it. So just get your pruners or your scissors and chop that right off so that you have nice green ends. And then we need the Oasis tape. I like to use the clear so that it doesn't show. And you want to lay everything out kind of flat so that each piece of bare grass adheres very securely to the tape. And we're going to wrap that just a couple times. Essentially you're making like a little piece of grass skirt. and then you can just trim that off. So you wash, rinse, and repeat for that to come up with a whole bunch of these to cover the entire handle. And then we're just going to adhere that right to the top and go all the way around. You always wanna be really careful when you're working with bare grass because you can get some wicked paper cuts Using the adhesive strips from U-Glue, you can see we've got a really nice handle, but I don't want my bride running her hands on this. It would be a bad deal for her big day. So the next thing that you want to do after you've got your little bare grass going down the handle is cut just a little bit of the 12 gauge aluminum wire from Oasis. And you're going to just crimp it and double it up at the end. You want it tight enough that it can fit right down in that handle. And I'm just going to take a little dash and put on the side of it just to make it secure. And the handle of the Oasis is hollow. And if it's not, you can use pruners just to chop it right off. So what we're going to do is just stick that in there to make it secure. And you can tell that it is. I like to use the green Oasis wire with the bare grass because then it just doesn't show the color of the wire. So once you've done that, you want to take your bullion wire and secure it at the top. Just wrap it right around at the very tip top and leave a little bit of a tail so that you can come back and tie it on at the end. And so once you've got that started with your tail loose so you can tie it off when you're done, you just wrap it pretty tight. You've got to keep in mind that the bare grass is going to shrink. So being tight with the bouillon is a really important thing to remember. And as you roll, you want to make sure that the white handle is not showing through. And so you're just going to twist and hide that wire just like so and take it all the way to your, into your bare grass. If you um, have long bare grass, you can of course make it longer. We don't wanna get too over the top with this bouquet, so we're just gonna keep it about two feet long. And then we're gonna come back. When you get to the end, you can just finish wrapping and you just keep getting that really secure Go back to the bottom. And try not to wrestle too much with your bouillon. So we're headed back to the end of our little bouillon bear grass tail one more time. 
And we're gonna take it right back up to the top and just cut it off so that we can secure it to the end that we left before. So we're gonna twist that on right there and then it's done. I also wanna come back and cut this off as well because we really don't need that. So it just looks like a big stick, but what happens with the aluminum wire is that you can make really fun curly tails, just like this. So that's exactly how you do that bouquet handle treatment. Now I'm going to show you how to give your grande holder this treatment. This is actually just dyed plumosa. And it's a great way to cover that foam cage so that we have lots of creative control over this bouquet. Now this plumosa, we're just gonna gather it. It's already been colored and you actually don't need the stem that's on it. All you need is the fluffy plumy part of the plumosa. So you trim that off so that you just have a little nice tuft. And then all you've gotta do is wrap that around your bouquet like so and go back to your bouillon. Leave a little bit of a tail so that when you're done wrapping it, you can totally affix it on there. And all you do is again, wrap it with the bouillon, which is a decorative element as well as a mechanic. And that's one of my favorite things is when you can get dual purposes out of a technique because it makes it pretty plus it holds it together. So I'm gonna cut that off and secure it and grab just a tiny bit more plumosa. Trim off the stems you don't need. Find the bare spot that you really wanna cover and push it right down around there. And remember, we're going to hold onto the bouillon with one hand and wrap with the other one. So after the wrapping technique and you've secured that off, you can give it a little haircut. Make sure that your cage is all covered up. There's nothing sticking out and then you wind up with this. So with this kind of a bouquet, you can just be creative because everything's already covered. And then we can take a look at our wonderful product. We're going to first grab some of the red tea leaves. And I have a flower frog that is a little old school, but I actually use it as a tool instead of a mechanic. You know, I'm kind of tricky like that. So with this little tiny flower frog, we can shred this foliage to give it a completely different texture. And all you have to do is pull the leaf right through the foliage. And it gives you a wonderful texture and a little bit of sound effect. You can turn that leaf into essentially a feather. So we're gonna do that just a couple times. Push down with the flower frog and then pull the leaf right through it to shred it. And this holds up really, really well. Adds a lot of interest. People are always asking when I do this, what is that? And I said, well, it started as this and it became this. So it's kind of fun. We're gonna come back and trim this off, get rid of this foliage that we don't really need so that we can make a nice, clean, solid insertion into our bouquet holder. And the beauty of the plumosa over the Oasis holder is that we can just go right through it very easily. You can make your insertions directly into the foam, but your foam's already color covered, so every placement that you make is one that you can make for an artful reason, not just because you have to color cover the foam. So we've got those two placements right there, and we're gonna come in with just a few Cymbidium orchids as well. And we wanna reflex those petals back so that they open up nicely. So we're gonna tuck the, the Cymbidiums right into the Oasis. And I just took my knife just to make a pilot hole of sorts. And then there's our Cymbidium. So we're starting with our focal emphasis here. And I know that there's a lot happening in this bouquet, but because it's monochromatic, 
we can get away with being a little funky. We are in Vegas after all. So we've got those placements right there. If we want to add a few more cymbidiums, we can just completely cut the stem off and come back and grab a U-glue, affix it to the back of the petal, peel that off, and we're going to come right down next to his friends and he's ready to go. We also have some fantastic African mask foliage which I love. And generally we're used to putting that just directly in as a foliage. So I think the back of it is so pretty and it really matches our color palette so nice. So what we decided to do was turn them backwards so that we get that wonderful color and then come in with a pearl headed pin and turn this into a funky, almost like an anthurium. Isn't that fun? So essentially your foliage now becomes a flower. Just with a little bit of adhesive, we peel that right off. And we're going to just terrace this right down the front of the bouquet, directly underneath those cymbidiums. And it sticks really securely. We're gonna do the same thing to repeat. I don't ever like to do just one, so we're gonna add just a few to give it some draping and a nice transition between the red tea leaves and the African mask foliage. And with the diamond headed pin on the end, it gives you just a little bit of wedding day bling because bling is always good when you're in Vegas. You also have some hellebores and the texture of the hellebores stem is actually quite similar to that of the cymbidium. So it's pretty easy to insert, but I'm gonna get a head start with my knife and tuck him right down in there. Another hellebores right behind him. And then we have some peonies as well. So we're gonna cut those all off very short. and add those to our bouquet. With this type of a bouquet, you don't even have to cover all of the foam because the plumosa already did that for us. So this is a great destination idea. It goes together pretty quick. It's a lot of drama. And some clever techniques that can really save us time when it comes to weddings. Now we've got this all in here, not a whole lot of product, but it's a super fun look for this bride. I wanna come in and just add a little bit with the begonia foliage, cause it kinda looks a little bit like Kiss to me. And when I saw it in the cooler, I had to have it. So I'm just gonna cut that stem right off and get an adhesive strip. And we're gonna stick it on the top of the foliage just to frame and give us a nice transition between those placements. It's got movement and depth, monochromatic, lots of drama, and she's completely ready to go down the aisle in the Kiss Chapel in Vegas. There are lots of techniques in here that are unique and clever. Maybe you don't make bouquets for rock and roll wedding chapels every day. I don't either, but with these techniques, we can take them back to our everyday weddings and rock the weddings that we do have.